Hello and welcome back to the most popular geography themed show on the internet today. It's been a couple of minutes, but I'm back with another episode. So today's episode is inspired by an age article I read recently about a a car park in Carlton, which is a suburb of Melbourne. This is the car park here in the northern suburbs. For those of you that don't know what the age is, the age is one of the only Australian newspapers that isn't owned by Satan's paper boy. So yeah, this article that I read is about this building on Carligan Street, which is a car park that is about to become heritage listed and some residents aren't happy about it. And you could probably guess why. Uh, so this isn't what you would typically consider to be something worthy of heritage <clears throat> listing on first glance, but this concrete car park is actually an example of one of my favorite styles of architecture, and that is brutalist architecture. Let me just zoom up a bit more so you can see it. It's pretty cool. So brutalist architecture is usually characterized by an emphasis on the raw materials. So most brutalist buildings are made from timber or concrete or glass. They're angular and monochromatic and people tend to either love them um, or hate them. It's been suggested that part of the disdain is because of the name which kind of misrepresents this style of architecture because of the association with the word brutal like it's not a very nice word but the reality is that brutalism actually originates from a French word that French word is bruit bruit and that means raw Anywho, so this style of architecture's biggest critic is none other than the monarch, formerly known as the Prince of Wales, King Charter, King Charles, who once said that Birmingham city centre is a monstrous concrete maze with a library that <laughs> that resembled a place where books are incinerated and not kept. So. Tell us what you really think, (laughs) Charles. So the library he's referring to was a beloved Birmingham cultural hub. Most brutalist buildings tend to be institutions. So theatres, library, what else? Like government buildings and social housing. But anyway, I'll show you this building that he also referred to as a monstrous car bunk. Where is it? Oh, here's a photo of it here. It doesn't exist anymore. So (laughs) King Charles's, well, unsurprisingly, the King's favorite styles of architecture are Georgian and Victorian architecture, which are (laughs) architectural movements that were literally named after his great, great, great gangan, Queen Victoria, and her drunk uncle, George IV. Anyway, so yeah, in the end, Charles got his way, Birmingham Library was destroyed and replaced with another modern building, which he probably hates as well. I'm pretty sure he's not a fan of any modern architecture. But yeah, that wasn't enough for for Charles. He decided to take up the super normal hobby of building an experimental town with all of his favourite buildings, and he called that town Poundbury. So I'll show you Poundbury now. So this is... King Charles's playtown that he built and one critic described it funnily I think as a feudal Disneyland anyway yeah so this is the town there's about 6,000 people that live here I don't know much about it I didn't read much about it except that the residents of Poundry are not allowed to paint or change their houses in any way without written permission from the king so yeah super normal this statue, I'm pretty sure this is his Gangan or the Queen Mother, Queen Elizabeth II's mother, who, yeah, just found another funny article. Apparently a woman was driving down the main street of the King's Poundbury and she drove her Peugeot into the Queen Mother and she went flying across the town square, but she's, she's probably being put back up again. Cool. All right. Enough of that. So. All that to say, the theme of this episode is 
brutalist architecture and I also chose two other bee themed maps. One is bazaars, which is a market. And I also just added beaches of the world too. So I think I've talked enough. Let's get into the game. I'm going to shut down Poundbury and this here, the, the Birmingham library lovers association and the librarians at Birmingham held a wake for their library when it was demolished, which is kind of sad. Okay. Close that and close the Cardigan street car park. It will become heritage listed, which is, I think it's pretty cool. It's not the case for a lot of buildings in the UK, for example, where a lot of brutalist buildings exist. M many of them have been demolished and let's face it, it's probably be <laughs> because of King Cha. <clears throat> All right. So let's close that down and see what's in store for us. There are many, I I'm not an expert in this at all. I know a few of these buildings in Melbourne and in other places around the world, but there are 893 locations here. So I don't expect to do very well on this map, but let's, let's go. I'll just shut down this as well. See you, Charlie. Cool. All right. Brutalist architecture. Let's go. I'm very rusty. Okay. So we're just going to keep all the settings on, but I'm not going to move far away. Hmm. Okay. So here we are arrived and I'm actually not sure if I suspect I suspect this is the no I don't know does this look like social housing I guess this is the building over here this ha resembles the the style I suppose with the molded concrete or the patterned concrete and you know the angles and the sort of modular appearance I guess so Statistically, these buildings are either going to be in the UK, Canada, the US, Australia, and not, not many other places, really. There's some in, there's quite a few in Serbia. There's also some in South Africa and where else? A few other random, oh, there's also a, a lot in South America, especially in Argentina. But I'm going to move. I'm guessing that this is the, oh, no, I won't say that because... I'll just look for some clues first. There might be some in France as well. Hmm. All right. So I think this is in none of the places I just suggested. There would be examples of this in probably almost every country in the world, I expect. But this little accent on here that we got here, access Strickmont Reserve. Well, we're certainly in Europe. Do they use those little accents in France? Like, is this France? No, I'm seeing lots of French words. Is this France? Let's look at the other buildings, the non-brutalist buildings. All right, I spent way too long on this. I am going to guess somewhere in France. Go back to where I started, but where? I suppose, yeah, come on. All right, it has to be. <laughs> That's confirmed it, as if it wasn't confirmed already. I'm gonna just go somewhere that's perhaps slightly south of Paris. Oh no. Hold on. Is this a town name? Blue Fragon. And this word here, <clears throat> what does that mean? I feel like, is that a town name too? I don't think it is. Mon Chéri. I've seen that word heaps and this word. I know, I don't know any French, which is, well, it is what it is. Be ba 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 venin ba 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 ba. This is an address. Here's the town name here, I guess. Langu. Don't know. Who cares? Let's just pick anywhere. We'll go here. Cool. It wasn't. It was over here, in sort of the west, in this town called Saint Buick. And let's check out the building and see <clears throat> what it was. I guess it was this one here. C Pam, or yeah, C Pam. Don't know what that is some kind of yeah institution or government building or other public building all right not the best first score back but that's okay we'll live all right so we're where are we now oh my god i really should have turned the moving off i just i'll do it for the next rounds so this says something 
an hospital. So that makes sense. The building example is a hospital and it looks incomplete if this is the building. So when it comes to Africa, I'm sure there are many examples across the continent, but the majority of them are in South Africa and also interestingly, the Ivory Coast, something hospital, Kenya, Kenya and Nairobi, I guess would be the best bet. So let's just pick that. Let's go and have another look at the, the building in here. This one here, maybe, or is it this one? No. Cool. Let's go to Kenya. Could it be that one? There might, there's obviously going to be more hospitals in Nairobi, orthopedic hospital. We'll go, we'll stick with this one. Wrong hospital. Ah, here it was over here. Doesn't matter. Let's carry on. That was a pretty good score. Ooh, interesting. So yeah, this is a good one. These look like apartments and where might we be? Somewhere in Europe, obviously. All right. I'm just going to guess somewhere in France again. I suppose it could be somewhere else in French speaking Europe and maybe even Canada. Maybe I should check that first, but it did seem European at first glance, didn't it? But we should check. I mean, they're not Canadian number plates. Could be Belgium. There aren't many in Switzerland. Let's go. I'm gonna go closer to Paris this time. That'll do. Oh, it's in down here. Never mind. So this place is. Well, it doesn't say, but they were. They look like apartments. All right, on to the next one. Ooh. Okay. So here we have housing again and this looks to be in eastern europe somewhere and i guess mm, so these buildings obviously exist in in russia and in ukraine and lots of places but i think they're more notable in or more common in say serbia or there's some quite famous ones in in georgia in to bills to billsley to billsley to billsley i don't know how to say it oh i wish i knew i don't think they have let me just look at serbia quickly i don't think this language is no it's not gonna be right not necessarily hold on it's like probably just going to be russia right <clears throat> but this number plate is confusing me and the google car as well the roof racks I'm not familiar with this Google cart at all and I don't know any, I think we've got, I think this, should I just take a risk and go for Serbia? I've been banging on about it for a while. <clears throat> the number plates I don't recognize, I'm not going to recognize any of the text either, but it's most, it's probably just Russia, right? Russia or Ukraine. Why am I trying to read this? It's literally like trying to read, well, yeah, another language, but I might as well be looking at a, a plant and asking it what the time is. Okay. I mean, I should just put my money where my mouth is, as they say, and go with Serbia. <clears throat> but does it look like Serbia? To tell you the truth, I have no idea. The, the ground reminds me of like, it seems like it could be more in the region of like Kazakhstan or Kyrgyzstan or even just somewhere. Oh, I don't know. I'm not going to drive around and find a clue either. I'm just going to go with what I said at the start. Although I don't think it is. I don't think it is. It looks too sparse to be here in Serbia. But I don't know what the country looks like either. Don't know how much coverage there is. Oh, I'm just going to pick it. Icaramba. No, it was fucking Mongolia. Oh, I knew it. It looked too deserty, right? Did I say Mongolia too? I think I just said Kazakhstan. Oh, 22 points. That's disgusting. <clears throat> anyway, whatever. <sighs> Shows what I know. Ta. This is a cool, cool building. Another feature of these buildings is the sort of ex exposed gangway or walkway like this bridged walkways in social housing buildings or 
or office buildings, and also exposed ventilation systems and duct ducts and things like that is another feature of them, which I don't you can't really see on this one, but anyway, just another fact for you. So Zepta cars Europe Bulgaria. Let's see. Let's go over and have a look at this sign. Fuck. Get over there. I'm getting the Bulgarian vibes. <clears throat> or maybe even Ukraine. Oh, I don't remember any meta, really. Look, here we have a nice little bus. And these colours are not Bulgarian. Or, like, are we in Serbia now? <laughs> no. I can't just keep guessing it, can I? This is like, this looks like the symbol on either the Czech or the Serbian or the Croatian. All right, let's keep driving around. I don't think there's this much coverage in Serbia though, is there? Like these are important things to know before you start playing the game. Like quite important. Hmm. So I don't know what this language is, sadly. <laughs> we'll have another crack at it. Banka za something something group look we've got a country code here oh my god I don't know what it is though hold on no way I can't see it get closer is it RS yeah it's RS so it's this, it's Russia right that's the code or is it RU in Russia it's another Google car behind me what the hell what did he get out of the car what's he doing there Two Google cars, but now he's not there. So RS, is that Russia? I thought RU was Russia. What are the other R's? Nothing. All right, I'm going to keep driving. I'm sorry, I feel like this is going to be a long episode, and I apologize for that. Look, this is some kind of postal van that might have a clue on it, but I just lost it. Come back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see it. There he goes. Speeding away from me. Never mind. We should be able to just figure this out without chasing that poor postie. Springfield? Oh no. That's an unfamiliar crossing sign. This is difficult. Oh, center. Are we even in? Yes, just relax. Sfada? I don't think we're in. Hmm. God damn it. God, I'm so shit. Mozart bet. I have no idea where we are. <laughs> You're like, no shit. Prattling on about your buildings and you can't even tell where the fuck we are. All right. Mm, yes, yes. All right. Let's go over here. I mean, come on. Bus have a single clue on you. How do people get around town without a clue on a bus? <gasps> It's the postie, he's back. RS. <laughs> Is it Russia? I've forgotten. What else could it possibly be? Russia? I thought Russia was RU. It's uh, Russia? No, it's not. Hmm. RS. Fucking hell, what is it? It's so annoying. What does it look like? This place, Militina, New Bal uh, Balkan. Okay. That's my first best clue. We're somewhere in the Balkans. Why am I overthinking this? I thought that the Russian country code was dot R U, but what else could it be? It has to be, right? But is Russia even in the Balkans? No. Oh, I'm so fucked. Oh my god. All right, carry on down there a little bit. The Balkans. It's not Russia. It's where are the Balkans? All right, hold on. So the Balkans are, I think, like Bulgaria and Greece and Turkey and Serbia and Kosovo and Macedonia, maybe Romania. I don't know. So yeah, it can't be Russia then because that said Balkans. But unless that male, male guy's in Russia for some reason. But is it going to be fucking Serbia? <laughs> After all this time, is it finally, is it finally Serbia? Serbia? You know what? Slubs are Bex R S. I guess those letters are in Serbia. R and S, they're there. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, Russia's R U. 
I don't know what else to do, so I'm going to, I'm going to go Serbia again. I'm just going to guess Serbia every single time from now on because, you know, oh my fucking God, it finally was Serbia. Told you. I told you I'm an expert in brutalist architecture. All right. Let's check out the summary. I think that's pretty good. Not too shabby at all. Yeah. I think there are better examples of brutalist buildings. I wish they'd highlighted some. Maybe there's a map that is just famous brutalist buildings. Let's go to that. Okay, so I found another one. This one's taken from a list on Wikipedia of about 100 locations. So I feel like the examples that they give on Wikipedia, perhaps they're maybe more fa famous or obvious examples of it. So I'm going to whip through these. You're probably sick of this subject by now, but... You know, there's timestamps in the video, so you can just skip ahead if you like. All right, let's check out these settings. I'm going to take off moving this time. Let's begin. All right, here we are. We have an apartment. And I don't, actually don't know which is the building. Perhaps it's this one or maybe the brick one. I don't think it's going to be that one either. So this one interesting little example and we are in a country in Europe we've got I suppose this is hmm, interesting I'm gonna go with Italy but yeah I'm 50% confident and I think a lot of these buildings exist in although don't jump the gun a lot of these buildings exist in Milan or this area so let's try that Okay, so it wasn't in Italy, it was in Paris. Never mind, carrying on. Ooh, I like this one. Cool, so office buildings maybe, or apartment buildings. Who knows? Kind of looks like the that inner frame of a cardboard box that keeps it, keeps it inflated. I guess this is probably just somewhere in London, near a park, and a horse. All right, let's just go straight in. I'm going to pick somewhere near Hackney. Okay, it wasn't as far out as I beat. It was actually near Hyde Park in and the Royal Albert Hall. Cool. All right, at least I guess London, right? Nice. So we have another facility here. This one does have some other materials. This is, cool. this is a cool building. What have we got? It looks like some secret facility you would find in like Stranger Things or something like that. I think this one might be in Canada or the US. I think I'm going to go with... Oh, man, I wish I could see that. Ah, it's quite bright. I'm going to go with Canada and I'm going to pick... I mean, the majority of them are in the US, but I'm just trying to mix it up a bit. You know what? I'm going to go Washington. Hmm. No. I'm going to go Washington somewhere. No. Portland. All right. Done. Ah, oh, fucking, fucking Canada. Okay. Here we go. So this is probably the building here. Although I think maybe there's more than one here. Again, I'm not an expert. But these ones look m more modern, obviously. And it's a funny little shop, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, uh, this is all looking very familiar to me. So is this Singapore? Probably. Go to Maccas. Oh, I feel like Maccas. Okay. We'll just click anywhere. We won't do too much searching. And it was one of these buildings in here. Cool. Carrying on. Whoa. All right. This is this is cool. This is what I'm talking about. It's just so dystopian and I don't know. People find these this building style oppressive, but in the right place, in the right landscape, I think they're pretty bloody cool. I think this is Argentina. That's my first initial guess. Probably Buenos Aires. I don't know. I don't know why. It pro maybe it's not. Maybe it's France or something like that. But I. The narrow streets and some of these buildings just reminded me of that. And I can't imagine a building like this existing in Paris either, or that close to the city center. So, and let's have a look at the people. Yeah, I'm going to go with Buenos Aires, I think, for this one. Buenos Aires. 
I hope I'm right. I hope I'm right. We'll see. Yeehaw! That's good. Yay me. So that building was a bank. Well, yeah, I actually wish I'd play that one first because it had, I feel like it had better examples of it. Let me know in the comments. Check out this. I hope you enjoyed it, but it's not, a, it's not over yet. We're going to continue, continue on and play these other two maps and, and we'll never talk about this subject again. Okay, so goodbye. We'll shut that down and let's go on to some nature beaches of the world probably move through these quickly because you know beaches all look pretty similar okay here we are and we're on the beach surprise surprise beach fronts aren't my forte so this is going to be a bit of a shit show i have to say i'm going to rely on suns compasses and coastlines and uh, maybe some language so let's have a look boop boop Northern Hemisphere, sun's to the left. Oh, fucking hell, sun's setting in the west as it should. I'm heading north and the coast is on our left. Is this in Portugal or Spain? I think perhaps Portugal. That has a big left-hand side coastline. So let's go with that. And we'll go just somewhere not far from Lisbon, I guess. Where there's a road. I don't know. That'll do. How? That's a... I'm... Um, pretty happy with that, I guess <laughs> fucking hell maybe I know beach is better than I know brutalism wouldn't that be funny okay next up can't believe I nearly now whoa that is a thick telephone pole check that out I wonder if that's because of things like cyclonic winds probably I've never seen a telephone pole that thick all right we are on an island and which one is it? It says 34 something. Does that say Valencia? No. I've got the back yellow number plate. Is that something you see in? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Dunno. I'd like to see a person that would help somewhat. Is this like Japan or something? Hold on. So those square, square yellow number plates you see in sort of the Caribbean, I guess, or, or the West Indies. But then I, uh, hmm, I'm kind of getting some Japanese vibes here. But that doesn't look like Japanese. It looks like Spanish. 24, no, just can't quite read it. What a big old bummer. I think I'm better off going for... Like that definitely wasn't Japanese text. Don't know why I thought that. All right, let's just flip this around and find the sun. Sun kind of in the south. We're heading, looking north. We're pretty much pointing at the sea. I think this probably is somewhere in something like Hawaii or something. Oh, this game's so frustrating. Mm. Roads look okay, except for these potholes. Like it doesn't look like. All right, I'm thinking it might be somewhere in center yellow lines, though. Back yellow number plates are really annoying me. Is there a black spot in it? No. Okay, is it Hawaii? Is this Hawaii? It probably is, right? I'm gonna pick Hawaii now. Changed m my mind. I've changed it. It's over. Where is Hawaii? They'll be really upset. It's going to be on this highway up here. Okay. It wasn't. It was over here. In Guam. Alright. I don't too feel too badly. I knew the number plates looked funny. Oh, this is cool. We've got a break breakwater. Just a big pile of blocks that look like they might belong on a brutalist building. What a cool little spot. And where is this cool little spot? Whoa. Oh, I thought that was a body. <laughs> this here, this reminds me of something you would see. I guess you would see it anywhere. I was going to say Japan, but I don't think this is Japan. I keep guessing Japan when it's not. I don't know. I'm going to go with somewhere in Western Europe. Could be Turkey, Greece, Cyprus, something like that. Maybe we will go Turkey somewhere here. 
Oh my god. What did I say? I was like, that wall reminded me of something you would see in Japan. Oh my god. It looked exactly like that. Oh. But you can't just base your guess on one road feature. Anyway, you live your life. Okay. Ooh. This is cool. We're on a very cool looking coastline. We have Spanish on the Spanish graffiti on the wall. And is this? Yes, it is. What is this place? Boats. They are like ice. Is it snow? Yes, of course it's snow. Oh my god. I know exactly where it is now. It's fucking Bolivia. This is Lake Titicaca or somewhere on the Uni. Like, is this salt? The salt mountains? How bizarre. I'm pretty sure it's Bolivia now, suddenly. I think this is where the Bolivian Navy calls home. I don't know why this is in Beaches of the World, but I guess it's including beaches of lakes. Bolivia is a famously <laughs> landlocked country because Chile, who has one of the longest, straightest coastlines, decided it, it didn't want to give Bolivia a slice. So if this is Bolivia, then it's somewhere on the lake. I think it's Lake Titicaca. I hope it's Bolivia. That car just looked, I saw that car looks really, but I guess it could be Peru or one of the neighboring, well, I guess it could only be Peru or Bolivia if I'm right about this. But the signs are these buildings, typically something you would see in, in that area. Anywho, but this, this street fittings, they look like something you would see well, I thought they did. Something you would see in Eastern Europe. All right. What can we glean from this sign? Chimbote. Well, that'll be the town. All right. Hold on. If we're looking at the lake, it better be that lake now. I'll be pretty annoyed if it's not. And uh, looking south across the lake, then we're probably on the Peruvian side, I think. I hope I'm right. And this is even where we are. Is it, This could be Mexico. Like, I just assumed it was this lake. Yeah, I shouldn't assume because there are lots of lakes. Let's just go look at Mexico quickly. Where's the sun? It just looks like that landscape. Cochera, Cochera. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so I still think upon reflection that we're still in either Bolivia or Peru, probably Peru, but would they call it a beach if it was on a lake? That is the real question. And, oh man, this is hard. I don't know if this does look like Lake Titicaca. Is that even the lake? Is that what it's called? Let me check. All right. Yeah, it's Lake Titicaca. So if it wasn't this, then it can't be Bolivia. If it was Peru, it would have to be on, it would have to be Peru because they they actually have a coast. So maybe I'll have a look, just a quick look. Coming to conclusions much too quickly. Jesus, that's a bloody, oh look, there's Chimbote. whoop de doo that is a good tongue twister. Coming to, con coming to conclusions much too quickly. You try to say that 50 times. Ah, oh, we got there in the end, what a journey. Let's just pick anywhere. 60 meters. <laughs> Fuck yeah. 5k that's on no moving as well. Get. Oh my gosh. Sorry for any children watching. Very proud of myself. Okay. Even though I have a town name, I'm still proud of myself. All right. And it's a big town name. I know. Cool. So this. Where is this? Don't know. This is going to be a hard one. Somewhere in... Sun's in the south. Right in the middle. Somewhere in, on the equator. In Africa, maybe. Maybe not in Africa then. Gosh, I'm going to embarrass myself here, I think. Okay, what's that say? Say Morocco? No, surely not. Prospect, something. more God. Can't read it. I do see something here. We've got a little cross. So the law has passed through these regions, but that narrows it down to nothing. 
got a boat over here. I can't figure out where these guys are from, but I am going to go with somewhere on the west coast of Africa, I guess. Actually, I'm going to go with Madagascar. Oof. No, Comoros. That's it. It's done. It's locked in. Hell, I knew it. I couldn't. I couldn't tell where these guys were from. All right, and um, they were from Colombia. What a disastrous finish to what I thought was a pretty good round. But now that I look at this, it wasn't at all. I had three completely trash guesses, and two, what I would say, uh, pretty freaking amazing guesses. We had this one here in Lisbon, and I five K'd this one in Peru. So. That's that done. Beaches done and dusted. Let's play the final map. Sorry, this is the longest episode ever made. We'll call it a bumper. All right, massive markets and bazaars. All right, let's begin. Massive markets and bazaars. All right. Okay, so we've arrived and this doesn't look like a market nor a bazaar. It looks like a church. <laughs> And we seem to be encroaching on somebody's actual wedding, maybe? No. All right, so where might this be? Um, this guy's setting, he's doing something sacrificial on the altar. That looks like the flag of... It might not even be a flag, but if it were, it would be the flag of the Republic of China. It's a bit dark, though. But I think that might be where we are. But hate to break it to the map maker this isn't a market <laughs> or maybe it is maybe i'm the, the moron this is a family celebrating in a church together mm. hmm. maybe we're not in china maybe we're on we're in taiwan this, this window is pretty cool oh this guy it's really long arms this shirt's Pretty cool. I am really confused by a lot of things. Or maybe it's... What am I missing here? What am I missing? The market. The bazaar. It's Jesus there in the corner. He's measuring a fish with his hands. Or doing the big board, little board, cardboard box. Revolver. Okay, let's just pick somewhere. In... I don't really know what to do, so I'm going to pick... Taiwan and I'm gonna pick southern Taiwan okay and it was Indonesia I don't know why I didn't think of that oh god silly Billy all right on to the next one sorry I think we've mixed up the beach and bizarre categories here have I actually no it says massive markets you know the only bizarre thing about this is that it is not what it says it is so is a woman on the beach being photographed at this massive market. Look at all the market stalls. So many market stalls. Unbelievable. Wow. I just want to buy everything. I don't. I'm not in the beach mindset anymore. I'm in the market mindset and I don't really care where this is because you misled me. I was really looking forward to this one as well. I guess it's somewhere with a western coastline, that famous Romanian beach coastline. No, we'll go somewhere where an American would like to go on a beach holiday. Would that be in America? No, it'd be somewhere like, I don't know, not there. Somewhere not too far from home. I'm assuming they're American too. Ba ba buoy, let's just go with the Bahamas that will do mm, okay it was out here on Mauritius famous market city all right next massive market and bazaar excellent you bastard no nah, I'm not finishing this I refuse getting out of this and we're finding an actual actually what we were looking for and you've just prolonged the video even even further stranger who made a map <clears throat> for shame I should have known when it had four likes. It's why haven't these maps been made? I'm just gonna write markets. You've ruined my alliteration game as well. Thanks a lot. We'll go to bloody hell. 
I'm gonna go to this one. Bye. <laughs> Bye, taxpayer. <laughs> Thank you, taxpayer. All right. It's not the bazaar I was hoping for, but this will do. I quite like looking at the interior of foreign supermarkets. So, yeah. However, we are not inside one, but there's the supermarket. It's a coupe. It has, it has an orange sign. We know who likes orange. The Swiss. <laughs> the Swiss. I was going to say the Dutch, but there's a Swiss flag right behind us, which is handy. Unless this is like a, a pop-up hospital or something. So let's just just go straight to Switzerland then. And where might it be? A little bit hilly. Yeah, I can't read anything on here. This baby's like, what? Cool. I'm going to eliminate towns in Switzerland. That's a much better idea because I've been to a few of them. I think I can eliminate Lucerne, Lucerne, however you want to say it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Eliminate that. And I'm going to eliminate this one, Geneva. That's gone. Boom. Freiburg, gone. Boom. Bern, gone. Boom. And also, yeah, well, that's it, really. It's and Basel, boom, gone. And Lucerne, boom, gone. I always get these two mixed up because they sound the same and they're both on big lakes. So I guess it could be, hmm, can I, can I eliminate Lucerne? I don't know. No, I can. I think this is Zurich. Yeah, probably Zurich. Got a coupe. District 12. Switzerland is a bit like the Hunger Games, isn't it? Let's go here. Ooh, we were kind of on the right line. Well, not really, but pretty close. Yes. I know my Swiss cities. Okay, this is going to be, this is going to be in Israel, in Palestine, and it is probably, I mean, I'm just going to guess Tel Aviv for this grocery shop. Here's the shop here. It's called, and it was this place. It's never Tel Aviv. <laughs> All right, next grocery store. I wish we were in the grocery stores. That would be my favorite. All right, extra 723 Son 1022. That is an interesting grocery store name. Anyway, Hilvagsvein. I guess this is Sweden. Or the other one next door. I can never remember who has the teardrop. Let's just go with Sweden. Ah, oh, there was Norway. I told you I couldn't tell the difference. Alrighty, here we go at the A1000. This is where the T1000 likes to go shopping for milk. Look at this stripy building. It's cool. And we're at the front of the A1000 market. Yeah, we just said that and still don't know it. But we've got a double E here. What is that about? Alright, now we have those double letters that I was mentioning earlier. Gilatud. Hmm, bud. So is that Dutch? I, like, I keep going on about Dutch. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I do think this is a country code. Oh yeah, because there's a www. And if it's a double E, Europe, double E. What are the E countries in Europe? Not that that Serbian one was very useful. They all don't match up, do they? So double e e countries in europe there's only one and it's estonia it must be ah oh, and they love double letters yep look at the double e the double letters there they love their double letters double a's this is it i am extremely confident except it wasn't in the capital but doesn't matter wow Nice. I think this is the last one and we're in the US. Got some trucks. Checks cashed. Lowest rates. American check cashing. Do they still use checks on the reg in America? All my hundreds and thousands of American fans let me know. In Australia, they're just not used as often. Dr. Wireless. Can you just call yourself a doctor? I suppose you can. Call 515. Getting some 
Missouri, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois vibes. So all those places are exactly the same. I think I'm going to go with Tennessee or Missouri. You know what? We're going to go Missouri and we'll pick this thriving metropolis. <laughs> Fucking hell. Called Festus. Jesus H. Christ. Oh no. Oh, I was in Indiana. I wasn't too far away. Well, I was several hundred kilometers away, but that's okay. Festus. What a town name. Let's just look at Festus. All right. Festus, Missouri, and it's in Jefferson County. They're west of the Mississippi. There's a highway nearby. And that's, that's literally all it says. No, no, there's more. Ooh, Festus was first called Tanglefoot. The bottle rockets are from Festus. It's mentioned in a country song by George Jones and Tammy Winnett when they sing about road tripping around the Midwestern and southern part of the United States in a Chevrolet while falling in love. And this podcast, The Drunken Peasants, they they have a running gag about a YouTuber from Festus. And yeah, that's it. They were really scraping the bottle of the barrel with those last, that last fact about a feud between a, a YouTuber. Anyway, so I guess that's it. We'll see the episode out with George Jones and Tammy Wynette's classic Festus-inspired hit, We're Not the Jet Set. Good night.